Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple logo animation using one of the new Adobe Express animation presets. This logo animation was created using the tumble in animation preset. And if I slow it down, you'll see the logo fades on, rotates in, does some bouncing, does some tumbling, nice. Before adding an animation preset, drag the CTI or the playhead to the beginning of the timeline or to wherever you want the animation to begin. Then go up to the effects and presets panel. If you don't see that, go to the window menu and check effects and presets. Now, when you know the name of an effect or a preset, you can always click in the search field and just type it in. But I really wanna encourage you to explore the animation presets. So to locate them, you're gonna to go to the Adobe After Effects folder. We'll twirl that open. All of the effects are in the plugins folder, but we're looking for the presets, so we'll twirl open presets. I'll twirl open Adobe Express. I'm gonna twirl open in, and there is the tumble in animation preset. Now I can just drag it right onto the logo, or if you have a layer selected, all you need to do is just double click to apply it. Then if you go to the effect controls panel, this is gonna show you the recipe for that preset which as you can see, contains a whole bunch of properties and you use the effect controls to fully customize and control the preset. But without doing anything except just adding the preset itself, when I tap the spacebar, you will see right out of the box, we have this nice simple logo animation. Easy as that. And one of the best ways to learn what these properties are doing and to discover some new techniques in After Effects, just simply drag the values and see what they do. If you make a mess of everything, all you have to do is just click on reset to go right back to where you started. Any numbers or value that you see in red, that means that there's an expression on that property and you cannot change those values. So you can just skip right over those properties. You can change the number, but as soon as you let go, it goes right back to that default. A few customizations you might change in this tumble in preset. The duration, the default is set to two seconds. So when the CTI reaches two seconds, the animation stops. So to speed it up, you'd lower that number. To slow it down, you would increase the number. The direction, it's the default set to right. You could change it from right to left. Now you see the animation comes in from the other side. You can also change the rotation. The default is 90 degrees, but maybe you want it to spin a full 360. Pretty cool. And if you make changes to one of the presets that you really like, and you wanna be able to save it as your own custom preset that you can use whenever you want, just select the properties in the effect controls panel, go to the top menu, click on animation and choose save animation preset. And you can find any custom presets that you saved as your own in the effects and presets panel in the user presets folder. And when you're ready to explore some of the additional Adobe Express presets, which I highly recommend doing, first remove the existing preset by selecting the layer, going to the top menu, effect, and choose remove all. Then all you have to do under that Adobe Express panel, just select any one of the presets. We'll go to bungee in and just drag it right onto that layer. Tap the space bar if it's not already playing to preview and then go to the effect controls to fully customize it. So that is the tumble in under the Adobe Express presets when you need a quick and easy logo or text animation in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.